Do you guys ever watch these videos of basketball players and football players getting their ankles broken? It's like, oh, he shook him. He thought he was going left, but he went right. And then they fall on the ground and it's humiliating. Well, that's what Truth Social SPAC is doing. Breaking investors' ankles. This stock was up. I just did a video on it yesterday. This was up 15% yesterday. And you know what? That's not even that surprising because this market is just bananas. I think uh, Elon Musk is, might trigger some craziness here in a second, but it was up 15% yesterday. $41. Check it out today. $46. Up 12%. And Elon Musk just tweeted. He tweeted this 12 hours ago, but he just tweeted this a couple minutes ago at the time of this recording. He was saying Truth Social is currently beating Twitter and TikTok on the Apple store in terms of social networking. And I just talked about this uh, yesterday in my video. I was like, I don't know why is this, uh, why is Truth Social doing so well today in the stock market? But also I saw that Be Real was number one in social networking. So I don't know how accurate that ranking chart is, but Elon Musk just said Truth Social, terrible name, exists because Twitter censored free speech. Now Truth Social spec, it looks like it, responded negatively to that news, but I did a video on uh, April 20th and I was saying, I'm afraid to short DWAC because it seems so obvious to short it, but I'm scared because I don't want to underestimate Trump's following or his group's power, let's say, because boom, Fox announced that they're going to be advertising on Truth Social. The stock surged like 6% a couple days ago. And I was like, that's why I'm scared. I don't know what it's gonna do. It's unpredictable. But the stock market is like a movie and I never realized how entertaining this category was until I really started just digging. But like in many movies, there are bad guys. I don't know if you remember Bill Wang. He had $20 billion. This was a big news story uh, last year. He had $20 billion and he lost it all in two days. In this Bloomberg article, they were saying, Bill Wang was the greatest trader you'd never heard of. Starting in 2013, he did this and that. Well, also in 2012, he was uh, charged with insider trading. And uh, yeah, it looks like he agreed to forfeit more than 16, 16 million dollars in illegal profits. So whenever you're having a bad day, guys, just think about, you know, how bad is your trading really? You know, Bill Wang losing 20 billion in two days. Bill Ackman taking a 400 million dollar loss on Netflix in three months. Well, now Bill Wang is back in the news. And this is for all these conspiracy theorists who think that the stock market is rigged. Well, yeah, haha, it's rigged in the patient man's favor, like Warren Buffett likes to say. Well, it's also rigged in other ways, apparently. Hedge fund manager, Bill Wang, is to pay $44 million for illegal trading in Chinese bank stocks. The SEC alleges that Bill Wang, the founder and portfolio manager of Tiger Asia Management, committed insider trading by short selling three Chinese bank stocks based on confidential information they received in private placement offerings. Wang and his advisory firms then covered the short positions with private placement shares purchased at a significant discount to the stock's market price. They separately attempted to manipulate the prices of publicly traded Chinese bank stocks in which Wang's hedge funds had substantial short positions by placing losing trades in an attempt to lower the price of the stocks and increase the value of the short positions. This enabled Wang and Tiger Asia Management to illicitly collect higher management fees from investors. There's more information on this subject, but you get the idea. There is a lot of trickery going on. But speaking of manipulation, I don't know if this is fake news, this is from Fortune. Twitter says thousands of users really are closing and opening accounts on the Musk buyout news. There has been an apparent mass exodus and entrance of Twitter users following the news that Elon Musk will take over the company. Since it was announced that Musk had struck a deal to buy Twitter, a number of high profile Twitter accounts have seen huge swings in their follower numbers. And that hyperlink takes you to this article, big Twitter accounts on the left are losing followers and those on the right are gaining. And you can see here, Twitter follower numbers make big swings. Here is Ted Cruz, Joe Biden. I don't know what's going on, but Twitter has been looking into these fluctuations and has said it will continue to do so. According to the company, account creations and deactivations are largely responsible for the sudden fluctuations in follower counts being seen across the platform. The phenomenon occurred organically in recent days, rather than being a consequence of Twitter closing accounts that violate its users' policies, hinting that swaths of people signed up to or deleted Twitter in the wake of the news that Musk's takeover deal had been accepted. Yeah, guys, and again, speaking of just 
fake numbers and comments, please be aware of the scammer in my comments that gives a WhatsApp number or a Telegram number. That's not me. And also I have a scammer that has an Instagram account that has more followers than mine. Guys, this is actually a huge news story and no one is talking about it. And I've actually reached out to the New York Times. I've reached out to Fortune. I've reached out to every Washington Post, everyone I could think of, these uh, writers, and trying to tell them about this huge news story that's affecting YouTube where when somebody follows my Instagram account, right? It, well, social media, it's just, this affects YouTube, but also it's on Instagram and others. But when someone follows my Instagram account, let's say, I will then soon follow them back, but it's not me, it's my scammer. And then he DMs and then will say something like, hey, uh, are you interested in some crypto or investment advice or something? Please guys, don't fall for that. It seems so obvious that I don't even feel like addressing it, but there's so many people who think it's me. And if this is affecting 1% of YouTube, guys, do the math. How many users does YouTube have? And this is on uh, Graham Stephan's YouTube channel, Meet Kevin, mine, all of them. Anyone I think who has over like 50,000 subscribers. And also I feel like this is a big reason why Bitcoin surged uh, last year as well, because there were so many bots and all they were doing was talking about Bitcoin. That's something that also none of these Bitcoin people well, I've heard any Bitcoin people admit that there was a significant amount of bots pumping Bitcoin to unseen levels. It was all in my comments. And that's also why I brought up this SEC press release a couple of days ago. SEC uncovers $194 million penny stock scheme that spanned three continents. $194 million. What these people were doing was they were running campaigns to promote certain stocks. So a lot of times if you look at my comments, some people are also saying like, they're trying to pump their own stock. But according to complaints, once some of the defendants had amassed a significant majority of the shares of the stocks, certain defendants secretly funded promotional campaigns to promote the stocks to unsuspecting investors in the United States and elsewhere. As alleged, when those campaigns triggered increases in the demand for and price of the stocks, some of the defendants sold the stocks via trading platforms in Asia, Europe, and Caribbean for significant profits. Like there's some YouTubers that are now gone. I don't want to say any names, but one was a doctor and he used to talk a lot about penny stocks. And I remember a long time ago, me and a lot of my friends would be like, I don't even think this guy's a doctor. And he's just talking about all these penny stocks and now he's gone, he's disappeared. And yes, there are a lot of YouTubers that are getting paid to talk about stocks. I specifically talked to one on the phone and then he said he was doing it. So yeah, just be careful. I've never done that, but Pretend that I am. Always do your own uh, research, never ever investment advice, and I'll try my best to continue to keep you guys updated on subject matters that I find interesting and important. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Peace.